Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kevin Good. I'm a pianist and composer. And please remember if you like these videos, please hit like and please subscribe and I hope to continue to bring you more videos. Today it's a quick video talking to you about sound banks inside of Weiss. Uh, it's just a general overview of sound banks, so um, let's jump right in it. Okay. Here we go, we have Weiss right here, and on the left inside of the Project Explorer, we're in the third tab, which is Sound Banks. So the first one's Audio, and we have Events, we talked about Events. Now we're talking about Sound Banks. So we want to create a Sound Bank, and the Sound Bank is going to be used to be exported to whatever platform that you're going to be working with. Um, so if I come over here and I click the S, or I right click and say New Child and Sound Bank, so we'll just do that, right click, New Child Sound Bank, and then I'll say, test one two three voila I've just created a sound bank the sound bank doesn't have anything in it but uh, we just created a sound bank so let's come over here and change the layout to sound bank and we see test one two three if I wanted to create another sound bank I can do that as well just come over here and then you can see the new sound bank but for right now we're good with just one sound bank so let's delete that and then now what we need to do is we need to add uh, whatever it is that we need to add to the sound bank. So for right now, we're going to add the the event test background music and the howdy one two three. We'll add that for right now, and then we can export the sound banks to various platforms. So right here we have the Mac platform and the Windows platform. So what if we wanted to export it to iOS or Android or maybe PlayStation or something else? We're working with different teams. So all we have to do is go over here to Project and we go down to Platform Manager. Inside of Platform Manager, you'll notice that so far we, once again, Mac and Windows, but if we click Add, we now have the ability to export for Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, PlayStation, uh, Stadia, Switch, um, Xbox One, Windows, of course, and Xbox. So we'll just say Android for right now, and then we'll add another one for uh, iOS. And then we'll say OK. So now we can export to all four of these platforms, Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac. And then here, basically, the selected platform changes cannot be undone. Proceeding will save, um, we'll save and reload this project, clean, uh, clearing the WISE-related clipboard contents and your undo history. That's fine, we don't have a problem with that, so let's keep going. And voila, we come over here, and we can now export for Android and iOS. Okay, so and we can add those right there. One thing to note when generating sound banks is the plat depending on the platform that you're using, you're gonna need to let uh, no, you're going to need to tell Weiss where the sound bank is going to be stored. Um, so that can be done here in the user settings. So you can basically click on here and then you can set up the default location. And like depending on what platform you're working with, if it's iOS, Mac, Windows, Android, um, it can be it's going to be stored in a different location and then also right here is for language localization so you can click that um, I usually you hit generate all but sometimes you can hit generate selected if you just want to generate specific sound banks so right now once again just generate all and voila no errors we're good to go so just remember the user settings um, if you use the Weiss launcher um, everything is going to be set up for you for the most part but once you start um, Varying the platforms, you're going to have to make sure everything is set up correctly, like varying the platforms for iOS, Android, um, PlayStation, etc. So that's it for today. We basically just created a sound bank. Remember, you're going to come over here to, if you're in the designer layout, you're going to go to sound banks. You're going to name your sound bank. Once you've named your sound bank, you're going to come over to layouts and you're going to change the sound bank layout and then you're going to basically add any items that you want to add to your sound bank. Um, one thing to note with, with Weiss is everything is centered on layouts. You have the designer layout, the interactive music layout, you have the mixer, so you're, you're always going to be switching layouts. So if you like key, command, key, key commands, it's good to start to memorize the key commands. So that's it. I hope it was helpful and um, 
Yep, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take it easy.